Hey, with it being 2021 now, I thought it'd be a cool video to actually finally show off my game room here. I've been collecting pretty hard for the last two years, and some of these items I do have, they have been with me since I have been a child. So there's a kind of a combination between the two. And just to let you know, I'm Falcon Zero. If this is the first time on the channel, make sure you like and subscribe to stay up to date with more videos like this. And with that underway, let's show off this game room. Now, starting off here, we're going to actually show what I'm actually recording behind, which are all these Nintendo Power magazines I have collected over the years. Now, I do not have every single collection of the Nintendo Power magazine. These are mostly ones I've just liked for the cover on a lot of different game franchises that I've gotten. I also got all of these frames here, I believe, at Michael's. It's, I thought the frames were kind of a good idea. I wanted to display them in a little bit different way than just kind of having a magazine rack. So I went uh, for the wall kind of thing with some frames for my Nintendo Power magazines. And above the TV in the garage here, I kind of got a little bit of a Legend of Zelda shrine here. And I got the Master Sword, the Hylian Shield, both those posters from Breath of the Wild. This map here is actually from the Zelda Monopoly collector's edition there. Starting with my Super Nintendo collection, which is actually not the most impressive here. I've only actually got four games from my Super Nintendo collection. And these are just some games I actually really like out of the collection here. But uh, this is something I'm definitely going to be expanding on. But my N64 collection, on the other hand, I'm actually pretty stoked about this. Now, a lot of these games are from my childhood. And I have, do not have a complete collection of the N64 games. But I do have a little bit over 50 N64 games as of right now and I don't know how many more I'm going to get as I have most of the ones I want. I do have a couple of box games since I did collect these recently over the years. I have Donkey Kong 64 and I have Star Wars Rogue Squadron as well complete in the box. I do have a Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 2DS in the box there. There's some Game Boy games down there that I need to organize a little bit better. DS and 3DS collection. I did used to actually have a lot more of these, but I did trade a lot of these games in. I'm kind of trying to work back on getting some more 3DS games and DS, but that's another thing I definitely need to work on. As for my NES collection, also kind of like with the SNES, this was also a little bit before my time, but I don't have the best collection right now for my NES, but something I do plan to work on in the future, kind of like the SNES. I think I will go with the SNES before I start doing NES games though. I am though, however, pretty impressed with my GameCube collection. I do have about over just about 30 games, I believe, for the Nintendo GameCube. My Wii and Wii U collection have gone up and down over the recent years, and the Wii U collection has gone down just because a lot of these games have been ported over to the Nintendo Switch, so I've traded some of those games in. And my Xbox and 360, and barely an Xbox One uh, collection here. Uh, have also gone up and down because I've traded in a lot of these games. I've kind of gotten some of them back and I, I have been working on my Xbox but not as hard as I've been working on my Nintendo collection. And I do not have a CR TV that I play this on out here right now but here is my NES and SNES next to the N64 and my GameCube here. And my GameCube does have the Game Boy Player attached to it and I have the Wii U above that. This is kind of my retro place out here in the garage though. I also have an Xbox and a Wii. And the drums for Donkey Kong's Jungle Beat. And then I keep my controllers over here for everything that I have. And these are the boxed Amiibos that I have. And most of these are actually my wife's Amiibos because she didn't want to take them out of the box because she thinks it's a bad idea, which a lot of people do. So these are kind of hers that she's gotten here. Another E3 pass. That poster is from Super Mario Maker in 2015. Uh, that Detective Pikachu though is mine and I kept that one in the box there. But I'll show you my Amiibo collection when we go inside. And you'll either cringe or not, but they are out of the box. And that's a little mask that she made from Majora's Mask, that's the Redead. This is also a table that my wife made for me, which I thought came out amazing. It's a Legend of Zelda table that we have here. I love the Legend of Zelda. I thought she did an awesome job. She hand painted this whole thing and I love this table out here. And she also made this and sadly it did chip a little bit at the bottom, but she did make Majora's Mask as well. I thought she did another amazing job. She is pretty artistic and this is, fits perfectly just for the game room. 
And inside our living room is where we have the more modern games. We got our Xbox One down there. Keep the controllers above that and our Switch Pro controllers. And then we have both our Switches and a Donkey Kong and Star Fox that I actually got from the Starlink Battle of Atlas there. It's a little bit of decoration. And we actually have two TVs in here. And we do that because my wife and I like to play games together. So like if we're playing Mario Kart Online, we can not do split screen, but if we want to play two other games that are completely different, we can just both play them at the same time and be together, which works out perfectly for us. And here we have my Nintendo Switch collection, which I have just about over 60 games physically for the Nintendo Switch. And I, I love this console. I've had a lot of fun with it. The Nintendo Switch is a great console. Definitely one of my favorites. And then we have the Amiibo collection here, which I actually have every single Amiibo to date for the Smash Brothers that has been released as of right now. And I plan on getting all of them as well. I do have other Amiibos, like you can see there's the Breath of the Wild Amiibos out there. There's the 8-bit Link Amiibo, the Wolf Link Amiibo. And then we got some Fire Emblems ones up there though too. But Smash has been a huge collecting point for me on my Amiibos. Which I've also had a lot of fun collecting these too and a little bit of a nightmare at the same time. But I also plan on getting the best of the Smash Amiibos and there's only about two or three of all the Amiibos that I had to pay over retail for and I'm actually pretty proud of that. But it also was a lot of hunting that I've had to do to go find these things. And this is one just collection I kind of have. It's definitely not complete by any means, but The Legend of Zelda is my favorite series. So these are some things I've just gotten from The Legend of Zelda. It is my Ocarina of Time 2DS I mentioned before. Collector's Edition disc for the GameCube that had the four games on there. Twilight Princess HD, Link's Crossbow Training, Skyward Sword, Oracle of Seasons, Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time on the N64, Link to the Past, the Ocarina of Time Master Quest on the GameCube. Wind Waker HD on the Wii U. Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask 3D. Don't ask me how many times I've bought those games. It's been way too many. <laughs> and then we got the Switch ones. Hyrule Warriors, both of them there. The Age of Calamity and just a regular one. Breath of the Wild and then a Link, or Link's Awakening that we have there on the Switch. And definitely love my Legend of Zelda games there. Thank you so much for watching and getting to see what I have in my game room. And if you guys have any recommendations of things I should pick up, leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please smash that like button as it really does help out. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date with more videos like this. And as always, every one of YouTube, show me your moves.